Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Raining very hard. Is it raining in your house? No. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good? Interesting day. <laughs> yes. You know, it was very hot and now it's raining. That is raining hard. Ready are. Okay. Pero no se preocupen que la, la laptop está cargada y ya me conecto yo con. No se desconecten si tienen luz, ok? Good. All right, so let's get started today. Where did we stop? Eh, no, no, no. When, when does the when does the winter start in May, right? The rainy season. Cuando comienza la época de lluvia, May. Yo creo que esta semana. Yes, teacher. Right, I May May I have this week, so this is this is the rainy rainy season. Teacher, yeah, maybe what I... quiere decir. Perdón. Maybe, maybe, ¿qué quiere May, decir? Maybe, maybe, tal vez. Gracias. Ok. Maybe. Y si lo pones junto, maybe es tal vez. Si lo pones separado, entonces estamos hablando de puede ser. Maybe, maybe. Here we go to the reading part. Okay, so here we have the video. Now let's go. Hi, everyone. This class will develop skills of scanning. Reading. Two special. Get good as a part of the Louis. Reading. Hi, everyone. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. 
Okay. Listen again for the pronunciation, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, good. Questions about vocabulary? Any questions about the vocabulary or expression? Have a question, teacher. Este, este pronuncia history o cómo se pronuncia? History. 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 Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. What else? What is porch? What is? Porch. Where is that? In this part. Ah, a porch. The porch. This one? Yeah. Okay, porch is como la, um, como una, ¿qué? Una, la, las casitas del campo. Ahí ve la señora que está sentada. Como una terracita. Ese es el porch. Así se le llama ese espacio que se ve rosado ahí. Es la gente. como pórtico. Un pórtico, exacto. Que es las casas de madera en Estados Unidos. Por lo general tienen esa. Ajá, ese pórtico. Un porch. Tienen ahí. Ok. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok. Eh, ah, mire, esta palabra que está acá dice stories. Ese es stories. Ok, historias. Pero estas historias pueden ser entre reales y no reales ok, story y cuando se habla de history esa es la historia que nosotros conocemos que pueden ser hechos reales ok, esa sería la diferencia entre story y history con H okay. por cualquier duda que tengan cuando ustedes dicen una historia por ejemplo cuando en el colegio vemos history Okay. Y, y a veces nos piden que inventemos una historia. Okay. Invent a story, no invent a history. Okay. Yes. All right. Any other word? No more vocabulary? Nay, nay, uh, Which one? Neighbors. Oh, neighbors. Mm -hmm. okay, neighbor, neighbors, okay. uh, microphone, please. Okay, mic thank you. Uh, the neighbor is the person who lives in your house in the same colony, the same neighborhood. Okay, the people in your colony, in your neighborhood, is your neighbor. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. Son vecinos, teacher. Yes, that's correct. That is correct. No more? Uh, 
Este, ahí donde dice wood burning. Wood, wood burning. Wood burning. Wood burning. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Wood burning stuff. Son las cocinas de leña. Oh. Okay. And wood burning stuff. Wood es madera. Burning es quemar. Stop, ah, okay. stop cocina. Ya son cocinas de leña. Cocinas de madera que se quema. Wood burning stuff. Okay. This one is you not know, the ones that we have in Salvador, right? Ahí nos echamos las tortillas, bien calientitas, right? In the, the comalitos, right? So it's good. So then that's the, the one. No more questions? No more. Okay, now we're going to go to the answers. Now the read comprehension. Okay, the reading comprehension. Somebody is, again, again, está pidiendo a link. Who is that? Okay. Let me see. Who has the link? Do you have the link? Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Okay, so then we have here it says readings the text from the list, select the correct article from each house. Then it says read the text, and then from the list here, we are going to select the correct article from each house. Okie dokie. Number one, Sandra Cisneros' house. There is what? There is a porch Purple house. with a pink floor. Okay, so we have, uh, there is a porch. porch. Porch with a pink floor. Okay, vamos a ver cómo suena, ¿sí? Copy. Okay. Good. Uh, there are? There are many books. There are many books. Because it's plural, right? Yes. Okay, very nice. Good. There are? There are colorful painting. Painting. There are colorful paintings. Okay. And about Lorraine Nelson. This one, right? Okay, Lorraine Nelson. There is a what? There is a wood burning stove. There is a wood burning stove. There is a wood burning stove. The next one, there are? There are two beds on the floor. There are two cases in the floor. It is on the floor. Okay. There are two chairs. And there are three chairs. Three chairs. Three chairs. Three chairs. Let's see if it works. Okay, here we go. What's the, what's the problem? 
Que primero va a en la dos y en la tres es to build. Van a la inversa. Ajá. Uh -huh. The same thing, right? Okay, so we have, uh, what was it here? There are three. two. Three chairs. Three chairs. Uh, uh, three chairs. Three chairs. Okay, thank you. And then three. And number three. Is the two, two beds. There are two, okay, two beds in the floor, that's right. Aunque okay, debería ser on the floor. Mira. Okay. Mira qué más dice. On the floor. On the floor. Uh, yes. Two beds on the floor. Okay. And here also the same, right? Color for paintings. Colorful paintings. And here are, what was here? Many books. Many books. There are many books. Many books. Here. Many books. Según la secuencia de la lectura, va? Uh huh. Yes, that's correct. You are right. Very good, people. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you for thank you for your help. Okay, you see, you are good teachers. Okay, great. Now they are correct. Yes, in the sequence of the reading too. Okay, that's true. Then eh, eso que mencionaron es bueno porque la mayoría de exámenes de lectura así es la la secuencia en la respuesta. Right. So answer this according to the sequence. Okay, people, great. Excellent. Now we finish the section two. And we're going to start with section three. Any questions about section two? No? Yes? How to share? All right. Okay. Remember that the questions are free, okay? Todas las preguntas que hagan son gratis, no problem. Estamos de oferta este mes y el próximo, right? So no charge, no extra charge for questions. Good. So we have, by the end of this class, Mayra, can you please read this subject here? Mayra, one, Mayra, two. Mayra Villorio. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Additionally, additionally, you will also practice describing the activity that different jobs do. Okay, so we're going to uh, learn vocabulary about common jobs, then we're also going to talk about activities, okay, that different jobs do. For example, a teacher teaches, teaches different uh, topics, different subjects, mathematics, uh, English, social studies, geography, science, okay? And an architect, an architect designs, Houses, designs, buildings, okay, designs, stadiums. Okay, uh, a doctor helps people when they have health problems. Okay, so we have to know the occupation, the job, and also what activity they do. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. 
She's a doctor. Three. She's a nurse. Four. Pilot. Five. She's a flight attendant. Six. She's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forum. This is an activity. Mm -hmm. Now I would like. Okay. There you have, for example, the a doctor works in a hospital. A doctor works mm -hmm. hard. Doctor works in a hospital. A doctor helps people. Yes, Maria, Maria Lorena. Question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Repeat the question. No, no. The, uh, now we're going to do the, the exercise here. It says a doctor works in a hospital. Okay, that is the place. And what are the different activities that a doctor does, right? For example, a doctor works hard, a doctor helps people, a doctor uh, gives uh, or probably recommends medicine, suggests medicine, okay? A doctor, what else? What, does, what else? Work at what? A doctor works and at night. Night. A doctor works at night. Uh huh. Okay. So these are you know different things that a doctor does. Okay. Then a cashier works in the store. But then before, if you want, then these pictures are very small. Okay, we have, for example, the cashier. Oh, it's just too small. Well, you have a cashier. We have a. Oh, what else? A cook or chef. Okay, we have a cook or a chef. We have doctor, flight attendant. 
a judge. We also have a lawyer, a musician, a nurse, a, a pilot, a police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Now, questions about that vocabulary? Yo quisiera saber, teacher, qué significa with o white, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Waiter. Cuando se refiere, cuando está diciendo with tickets. With tickets. Se escribe wites. ¿Dónde está esa palabra? Eh, en lo que estaba explicando el, el que da la, el video, ah, pero, estaba escribiendo ahí. Ah, al final. Ok, pero de no, esto, no, ¿de qué no, 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 vocabulario? No, hay no, teacher. Ah, ok. If nobody has questions. Waiter or, or wait, waitress. Ok, waiter is a man, es un mesero. Right? Waitress is la mesera. Waiter, waiter. Waiter, mesero, wait. waitress, mesera. Okay. Wait. 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 Ya vamos, ya vamos a, uh, a pasar a la otra. Wait. Okay, so we have waiter, waitress. Más. Okay, remember, cashier, in the supermarket. Son los cajeros de supermercados y tiendas, right? Not in the bank. En los bancos son tellers. A cook or chef. Doctor, by attendant, is this lady. Uh, hermosa, right? Judge, West, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, can be a woman or man. Security guard, in guardia seguridad, right? In the, in the, in the neighborhood, in the colonia, in the vicinario, think the bank. Finger, waiter, and waitress. Okay, this one, Mayra. No, ahí le escribí la palabra en el ah, chat. chat. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Teacher, ¿y para enfermero sería la misma pronunciación o cambiaría? It's exactly the same. White. White tickets. No, my um, white, no. Oh, with the best. Right ticket. It's a great ticket, teacher. Right ticket. Como escribe tickets, algo así. No sé qué significa bien en español. Ah, right. Uh -huh, right. Yes. Ah, no, wait, wait a minute. Right tickets. Este es el que da las, eh, las multas. Right tickets. Ah, bye. Gracias. Ajá, no sé qué, 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 qué escribe las esquelas. Y solo para los oficiales sirve eso, porque en el caso del cajero también escribe, sale los tickets de las compras que se hace, o solo con los oficiales se usa eso. En este caso sí, porque es, uh, eh, ¿cómo que se llama? Eh, estamos hablando de una, el contexto es de la, de que le pone una multa, de hecho ni se tiene que traducir, escribe, sino que es el que pone la infracción, pone la esquela, pone la multa, como nosotros le decimos en, en español. ¿no? Uh -huh. Ah, ahora entiendo, porque dice Great Ticket porque tiene que ingresar los, los el, documentos, ah, ah, los escribe, números y todo eso. Ah, 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 ah ok, ok. El oficial de policía siempre está, él escribe ahí en la boleta. ¿no? Ah, sí. Es más, sí. No. ahora sí tiene sentido. Gracias. Ah, es el contexto. Cuando van sí. a... A, cuando ven un carro mal parqueado, por ejemplo, que no le puso monedas al parquímetro, en United States, encuentran una papeleta así. Ella ha escrito el, 
el oficial el problema, right? Yes, buena pregunta. Good question. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so then we have activities. There, a uniform. Okay, for example, sit all day. Top school, work hard, stand all day. Handle money, work at night, right? Okay. Eh, vamos a hacer un ejercicio de ocupación. Ya. Yeah. ¿Quién es who wears uniform? ¿Quién es de eh, uso uniforme? Who wears uniform? Who wears a uniform? Police officer. Nurse. Nurses. Uh -huh. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Pilot. Pilots, okay. Cook. A cook, yes. Waiters. Waiters. Uh, white dress. White dress. Very good, excellent. Judge. 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 The, 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 gown, the gown, la garacha, right? The gown, yes. That's the, the judge. Um, sit all day. Sit all day. Secretary. Secretary, okay. Receptionist. Receptionist, yes. I think, uh, ladies. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Play attendant. Play attendant, no. Play attendant, sentado todo el día. La hermosa. La hermosa. No. no. Solo cuando... Um, music. 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 Yeah. Ah, musician. Depende. Cuando está, la... cuando está componiendo y cuando está tocando, sí está sentado. Ajá, dependiendo, de, ajá, dependiendo del, del chat y del instrumento, right? Ok, no se lo hacen. O sea, de, de keyboard, por ejemplo, por lo general lo hacen. Yes, some is it. It's all there. Okay, talks to people. The talks to people. Cashier. A cashier. Teacher. The teacher. teacher. The judge. A teacher. The judge. The judge. Mm -hmm. person. Who? Salesperson. Yes, Ruth. Salesperson too. Police officer. Police officer, yes. Chef. Yes. The chef. Doctor. The doctor. The nurse. Receptionist. The receptionist, yes. Who else? Only. Fly, at, fly attendant. Fly attendant, yes. The pi pilot. The pilot, correct. The nurse. Student. The nurse. Mm -hmm. And works hard. Everybody, right? Mm, mechanic. The mechanic. Driver. The driver. Both engineers. driver. En engineers. Engineers, yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> teachers, no, teachers work very, very hard. Okay. Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> huh? The police the officers. Fighters. Police officers, yes. Okay. Uh, stands all day. Teacher. Teacher, yes. Waiters. Who? Rafael? Waiters. Waiters, yes, waiters and waitresses. Nurse. Nurses. Doctor. Doctors. Doctor. Yes. Nurses. Who else? Teacher. Yeah. It stands in Spanish. Están de pie todo el día. Stands all day. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Everything. Yes, okay. Stands all day. Quieter. Waiter, yes. And waitress. And waitress. 
eh, handles money. ¿Cómo sería, teacher, perdón, cómo sería vigilantes? Uh, the, that is the guard. 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 Security, uh -huh. security guard. Security. Okay. Yes. Cashier. Uh -huh. Handles money, the cashier. The cashier. Some work, some... Okay, who works at night? The doctor. The doctor. A bodyguard. Uh, what, Rafael? Bodyguard. Bodyguard. The bodyguard, the security guard, the bodyguard, security guard, the police officer, the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and who writes tickets? Police office. The police officer. Okay, good. Now that we have a... This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given to this activity. Please. Okay, good. So we have, for example, what is his job? Look at this one. What is his job? He's a receptionist, he's a doctor. Okay, now before we do this one, we're going to have a little practice. Okay, about it. Okay, now, uh, but before, I will take you the picture for the attendance. Vamos a la asistencia. Let me turn this one. I think I Okay, I have another one. Great. Okay, thank you very much. There we go. Okay, now let's practice uh, saying, for example, the other applications that we have, apart from those in the book, I mean, in the, in the platform. What else do we have? For example, we have doctors. Tell me a sentence, for example, a doctor works in a hospital and he works hard. A mechanic works in a where does a mechanic work? In a garage. Okay. A mechanic works in a garage. He works hard. He works all day. He works uh, every day. All right. He works, uh, uh, let's say, uh, or he help people in emergencies, okay? When they have an emergency with a car. Okay, try to elaborate one choosing the place and the activity with any job. Yes, somebody said, teacher? No? Okay. Another example could be, um, let's see, a chef works in a restaurant. He or he, right? He prepares food. Okay, he prepares delicious food. Okay, uh, a cook works in a, in a hotel too, okay, and he or she prepares delicious dishes. Okay. What else? Another example?
who there? Quien se cree? Who there to give me an example? Maria Jose, no. Marcos, Tomás. The teacher works. Uh huh. Mm. Teacher work. Chair. Or hands. <laughs> eh, soy cortado. Can you repeat, please? Teacher. Teacher work and school. Uh huh. Yes. And teacher work hands. Okay, stands. Okay, teachers stand all day. Teachers stand all morning. Okay, Mayra, good. Okay, anybody else who wants to give an example? Doctor works in a hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, she works every night. She works every night. Okay, very good. The doctor works in a hospital. She works every night. Marlene? The police says, uh, police officers, police officers, police officers is work is work. Um, they they station the policia. In a police at the police at the police station. The police station. Uh -huh. It uh, is. Security peoples. They, 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 they security peoples. They give security people. People. Okay, very good. What else? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Uh -huh, Mayra? Mayra Lorena? <laughs> I see your microphone on. No. I'm telling that. Uh, okay. The ta taxi driver. Uh -huh, okay, taxi drivers. Uh, she, they, excuse me, he works um, with a taxi. Oh, in the street. Uh -huh, in the street. Um, he, he works all day. He works all day. That's correct. Okay, very good. He he works uh, sit all day. He sits. He works and sits all day. Yes, that's true. Very difficult work. Uh, taxi drivers and bus drivers, right? Yes. Good. Uh, one more. One more. And then we move back. Uh, the singer work in in park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he sings. Uh, and sing every day. And he sings every day. Okay, or he sings my song. Tatiana, tell me the last one. Myra is. Pilot works in the sky. Mm -hmm. uh, her job is very extreme. Yes, could be very extreme, dangerous. Okay, it's a pilot flies a plane, works on the air. On the air. <laughs> okay, very good. Nice. Okay, now let's go back to this one and we can see the applications here. See the it says look at the picture and ask correctly about the profession of each one. So remember capital letters are necessary. So then we have what is his job? Here. Sorry. What is his job? He's a receptionist. What's her job? She is a doctor. 
what is her job is a nurse? Okay, this is the question. What? Now, what is his job? He's a pilot. He's, he's a pilot. Okay. He's a pilot. He's a pilot. Okay, here's the pilot. Remember, capital H, capital H, you'll see it, right? What is her job? She's a attendant. She's a flight attendant. Okay, she's a flight attendant. Okay. Decision. Okay. He's a music. He's a musician. He's a musician. He's a musician. Yes, he's a musician. What is her job? He is. She is a singer. She is a singer. Singer, oh, missing the period here. Period. What is her job? She, she is a judge. She is a judge. What is his job? She is, she is, he is a, a police, police officer. officer. Yes. Oh. He's a police officer. And what is his job? He, he is a lawyer. He is a lawyer. He is a lawyer. A lawyer. He is a. He is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cook. He is, he is a cook. He is a cook. Oh, shit. He is a cook. On chef. He is a cook. Okay. Or oh, chef, right? No problem. What is his job? He, he is a waiter. He is a waiter. He is a waiter. He is a waiter. Right? She and is a waitress. She is a waitress. 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 He is a salesperson. He she is a salesperson. He, or, he is right here. He is his security uh, guard. A sales person. He is a sales person. He is a sales person. And she? Um, she, she is a cashier. She is a cashier. 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 And. She is security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Es mujer, teacher. Es she? Oh, no. Thank you very much. Yes, it's her. It is correct. She is she. She is security. Her, she. Yes, she. Now we have four. She. 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 Yes, 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 see. Then we have she, he, and she, and then we have this. Okay. Let's see how we did it. Voila. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All of them incorrect. Eh, eh, teacher, quitar el punto. Uh -huh. El punto. Okay, perfect. Yes. The period. 
Pero aquí lo tiene en el ejemplo. No, no pero este, es, ya, yes. ya lo traí, no lo pusieron. All right, perfect. And you omit it. This one. Go out, delete it. And one more. And voila. Oh, my God. Excellent. Congratulations, everybody. Very good. Nice. You got a 10. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, capital letters are next. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, questions? Any questions about this? We say, what is his job? Look at the question, what is his job or what is her job, right? What else? You say he's a musician or she is? Good. Excellent. The next one is the number three. Melvin, could you please read this objective here? Yes. By the end. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH question. Okay. So the WH questions are? WH. What is your name? Where do you live? Who is she? Where are you from? Okay. When uh, do you like, go? Where do you work? Uh -huh. Then sound natural to the kids. Que se tienen que hacer más en inglés que en español. Right? No. Where do you work? Where do you, where do you work? Now listen to this pronunciation. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underline at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work? As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples no. without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch. Where do they work? What do they do? Okay, listen to these people. 
Where does he work? What does he do? Where do you work? In this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and deviation. Reduction of do and does. Okay, the reduction means that they reduce the sound and it's very short and quick, quickly, right? Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? Where do you, where do you work? No, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? 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 Hey, what do you do? Where does he work? Where does he? Where does he? Where does he work? Oh, where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where does he where work? work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English. Let's say, where do you, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they, what do they do? Okay, so this is what they call the middle. Okay, where, where do you work? Okay, where does he work? Does he? Does he? Does he? Teacher. Uh -huh. Este, eso que está subrayado así, what do they? Es solo para uh, hacernos, uh, para saber de que se puede decir así como punto o lo uh -huh. puede escribir así junto. No, no, no. That's for es the pronunciation. Only, only for the pronunciation. Yes. No for writing. Ah, okay. Eh, the correct form. Uh -huh. To write is this. This is only for pronunciation, and that for this ten quotations in uh, commillas, right? Mm. What are you? Yes. Okay. Good. Now this is the program in English, and notice the reduction of do and does. Okay. Notice the reduction. I just uh, this one is. Now here we have the question. WH question. Now pay attention to the question in a conversation, right? Say simple present WH questions and conversation. He works in a hotel. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does 
plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Questions about it? No, Tishan, no question. No questions. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, then please for tomorrow, okay, practice the um, this question, right? WH question. Tomorrow we're going to practice, for example, how how do you get to work? Where do you work? What do you do? Okay, who do you live with? Okay, WH question. Okay. Just the practice the WH question for tomorrow. That's gonna be that. Practice. Okay, Tisha. Thank okay, you. have a very good night, okay. people. Thank you very okay. much. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher.